Yes and no. It would take a lot of work. We've dug ourselves a deep hole. We're deep in this plastic. We're deep in this um, system where we value being busy and we value hard work. But guess what? All of that comes at a cost because we're so busy that we don't have the time to really live without these things that are so convenient for us. So most of the stuff that's convenient is comes in plastic and like the only way to really, really stop living without plastic is to slow your life down. And that's a hard thing to convince a lot of people to do as a whole. I think that we can greatly reduce our plastic intake fairly easily. It does require change. It does require making decisions and deciding keeping that image in the front of your mind because we have a tendency to like we have we see so much on social media and it just goes by that we we kind of become cold to it or immune to it and like we see it and it does affect us on some level but we're like ah it doesn't directly affect us yet if you've seen wally -E, that's a prediction of the future okay i'm being a little conspiracy theorist but if you look at the ocean and the way it is now and if we don't make differences and start doing something about it now. Yes, the world will become like Wally. The entire ground will be covered in trash at some point. But I think that we can definitely reduce our plastic fairly easily. There's a lot of different ways that you can make a difference right now um, without changing too much. I, I think there's levels of how plastic free you can go and it depends on your schedule and like how desperately you want to do this and how important this is to you if you really keep those images of the ocean and all that disgusting like mountains and mountains and mountains of plastic if you keep that in the front of your head then it makes it a little harder to just pick up whatever at the store it makes you think about it more so this whole month, whenever I cheated, I just felt so guilty. Not just because I was letting down the viewing audience who's expecting me to live 100% plastic free, but also because I was like, this is, this, I'm contributing to that mess in the ocean that I can't physically see where I'm living right now, but I've seen pictures of it and it affects people and it affects, like, there's articles about fish in the very, 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 how many times can you say very deep bottom of the ocean that have plastic in them? Like, what? What is happening? Okay. So that might lead to a good question. How can you help? How can you go plastic free? I had a lot of people asking me, what do I do for my period? And how can I recycle? And this and that. I will answer those questions now. How can you recycle? I wouldn't recycle. I need to do more research on this, so don't get all crazy and offended, but I would not suggest going and just getting one of those companies and dumping all your shit. Like, they don't really recycle all of that, guys. They recycle probably... I don't even know. I need to look up the rules for this. So... Maybe that'll be in a video far in the future or in Italy. I don't know when I'm going to have time to really heavily research this, but just from conversation with other people, I've heard that only plastics number one and number five actually get recycled. Now um, the U.S. no longer recycles glass because it's not cost efficient. Pretty sure if there's food on it or anything like that, they can't recycle it, so... Someone who knows a little more with recycling can comment below and fill people in on this information. I do want to research more of that in the future, but from hearsay and a couple things that I've come across here and there, I just think that your time that it takes you to recycle and separate your stuff is probably better spent just learning how to reduce your plastic use in general. So what are some ways that you can do that that are fairly simple? I can go in deeper, but I'm just going to list a couple things today that you can do right now that aren't that difficult to do. They're not a big change. They're pretty great. And 
It's just making a habit of it. So some of the things that you can do to reduce your plastic intake is this. First of all, I highly recommend those period panties for ladies so you can stop buying pads and tampons so often. Get the period panties. They're really amazing. They're comfortable. They do a good enough job. Or get a menstrual cup or whatever one of those options that I left for you in one of my previous review videos. That's a way for women to start. The safety razor I comes highly recommended. Everyone I know that has one loves it. I love mine. It's plastic free. You never have to pay $4 for a cartridge again and you're not buying plastic every time you buy a new razor head refill. So you can invest in one of those. Again, they're not that expensive. I just purchased an expensive one for myself because I wanted the lifetime guarantee. You can get reusable grocery bags. Places like Trader Joe's and Sprouts and I think even Walmart now sells the reusable grocery bags. Get yourself like five or six of them and stuff them together and leave them in your car. That's it. Every time you go to the grocery store, you just have to remember to grab your bags and bring them into the grocery store with you. And if you forget them out in the car, walk your freaking ass back to the car and get them. Or carry your shit in your arms if you don't have a lot of it. But do, you do not need the plastic grocery bags. You don't. You do not. You don't. I use them for trash at home. Again, that's another thing. Maybe you use them for trash too, so you're getting plastic grocery bags, so you use them for your trash bags at home. Free trash bags! But if we're trying to reduce your trash at home too, you might not even need them anymore. Who knows? Anyways, produce bags. Now, produce bags, those are ones that I never reused as trash bags because they were too small. So my produce bags that I used to use would just end up in the trash. You can get reusable produce bags too. I didn't know before this challenge that something like that existed, but if you just go on Amazon or wherever you want, you can find these cotton kind of see-through mesh reusable produce bags. Stuff those in with your reusable grocery bags, bring it into the store with you. That's so easy. Leave it in your car. Boom. A couple other ways, like I've always done this and I know a lot of people that do, is I always, always, always bring a water bottle with me. A reusable water bottle. You can just refill it at a water fountain. That's it. You do not have to buy plastic water bottles anywhere, okay? You can go get a fresh juice somewhere. You want juice? Don't buy the freaking plastic juice. It's bad for you anyways. Get a fresh juice, stick it in your reusable water bottle. If you're a coffee drinker, you can bring a reusable cup with you. Starbucks will fill up your reusable cup for you, and I'm pretty sure they might give you a discount. Don't know about that because I'm not really a coffee drinker, but you don't have to always. Just remembering to put these in your car is like the number one change you have to make. That's it. And it's super simple, it's super cheap. You can even make yourself a little kit. Like, if you wanna go a step further than the reusable grocery bags and produce bags and the reusable water bottle and coffee mug, you can even invest in a bamboo cutlery set or a reusable cutlery set, like a metal one, and stick that in your car too, along with some containers. So then when you go to the grocery store and you need some meat, or you need something that's behind one of the counters, instead of having them wrap it in plastic, you can put it into your reusable container. These containers are also good for if you go out to eat, you can put your leftovers in the container instead of in the leftovers box that's most likely styrofoam. So simple changes, yes, it, it, it does take some time to adjust to it, it is a habit. Like for me, I messed up so much on this challenge, but like I said in an earlier video, the point is to really just raise awareness and start making the steps that it takes to reduce your plastic. Like, I'm gonna be going back and using some other plastic. I can't sit here and lie to you guys and tell you that I'm giving up plastic forever. I'm not. I failed so much and trying to do it all in 30 days was overwhelming, but doing this challenge taught me so much and gave me so many ideas and made me feel more connected and aware to this to that now. I've got some ideas for what I'm going to do in the future. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I, like I said, 
I plan to do all of the things that I just listed that you guys can do. I think it's a great idea. I don't have one yet because I'm getting ready to go to Italy, but I do plan to make a kit when I come home from Italy to keep in my car at all times with my re reusable cutlery, reusable water bottle, containers, reusable grocery bags, and reusable produce bags. I think I'm just gonna keep that in my car all the time. I think it's a great idea. I'm also going to maybe start composting when I come home. I didn't want to invest in that just yet since I'm about to leave the country, um, but composting is not that difficult and there's actually the ones that I showed you you can have in your apartment, which is pretty cool. I have a little bit of a yard where I live, so I think I'm going to get a bigger one for outdoor, but it's not that hard once you have it set in your kitchen. Like, I remember at the beginning of this challenge I kept throwing stuff in the garbage can but towards the end I was throwing all of my eggshells and vegetable clippings and everything into the compost bin to take to my mom's house now the biggest the hardest part was taking it to my mother's house and having to drive 30 minutes to drop off some garbage but if I have a composter I can just throw it in my composter in the back and it's super simple it's just like taking out the trash then I'm gonna have dirt for plants and I'm gonna get to grow my own cucumbers and it's gonna be delicious some other things that I might do in the future after Italy like right now I'm probably just going to go back and use whatever I had up before the challenge so I still have some plastic shampoo and hair products and toothpaste and everything in my house so I'm probably gonna go through those first instead of throw them away unused because that makes no sense but when I come home from Italy I'm probably gonna continue researching other options for these hygiene products because that's another simple way to switch because they're making a lot of different options now and those aren't usually something that you like need right away for example um, you can order your deodorant and your other stuff in advance when you see that you're getting low groceries is a little bit more difficult and I'll probably still be going to the grocery store obviously for that stuff but I think hygiene products are something where I can start making a switch so I'm gonna consider doing something like that when I get home as well and I'm also kind of curious to try out the farmers market this is the first time I've lived somewhere where there is a farmers market at least during the summer so when I get home from Italy there should be a farmers market going on here and I'd like to go check that out and see cost wise if that's something doable or not that will help please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and comment below if you're interested in anything particular if there's a question that you have that I didn't answer in one of my videos please 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 don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask I'd love to research and I love to look stuff up and figure things out I love to learn so I will share these things with you tell me what you want to learn about Italy because I'm gonna be there hopefully for three months and I'm here right now I'm not I'm in my room when I'm shooting this video but when you're watching this video I'm going to be in Italy which is really weird to think about but yes let me know what you want to learn about because I will tape it for you Uh, what did you learn? Very, 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 very,